In today's world, understanding data is a critical skill, but it's not just understanding data, it's understanding how to read, write, work with, visualize, and interpret the different data sources that you come into contact with. You have to know how to talk about data, how to ask the right questions of your data, and how to understand whether it's telling you something that's truly actionable. We use data to reinforce more decisions than we ever have. Even in our personal lives, we see data on social media and we use that to make decisions about the companies that we choose to work with, the friends that we choose to keep, the political causes that we choose to support. And yet that data can so easily be misleading unless you have the data literacy to understand what's really being said. I want to give you an example of two companies that are using statistics in advertising. Company A says that 25% of their products are sustainably sourced. Company B says 75% of their products are sustainably sourced. Which company is the most sustainable? I'll give you a second to think about it. The answer to this question is that we don't really know which company is the most sustainable. Company A has 25% of their products sourced sustainably, but what if those 25% of their products only make up a tiny fraction of their revenue? Company B says 75% of their products are sustainably sourced, but those 75% of products could also make up only a tiny fraction of their revenue. We really need context for any number that we're given. Data literacy teaches us to put numbers in context, to ask the right questions, and to identify the information that we don't know or that's not being shared that might actually have a big impact on the way we view those numbers. In the example, if company A's 25% of products make up 90% of their sales, that's great. They're a really sustainably sourced company. But that might not be the case. That 25% of products may be 25% of the products that they almost never sell. That could make up only 1% or 2% of their revenue. And without the context for what that makes up, we really don't know whether company A or company B is the more sustainable company and the one that we want to buy from. We're going to conceptualize data literacy across four levels. The first level is understanding. Do you understand the data that's being presented to you? Do you know what's being represented? Do you know what the calculations are, what the percentages and the proportions all represent? The second level is analysis. Can you begin to dig into what the most important numbers are on a report? What are they telling you? Where should you focus? The third level is interpretation. Once you've understood where the most important numbers are, what do they tell you about what's happening in the real world? What do they tell you about what's happening where this data was collected? And the fourth level is communication. Can you take all of your interpretation and put it together in a way that makes sense when you communicate it out to somebody else, in a way that's fair and balanced and tells the story of what's actually happening behind the scenes? We should talk about the fact that these skills are not linear. You don't have to develop a deep understanding of data before you can move on to analyzing data, and you don't have to be an expert analyst before you can look at interpreting it and communicating it. These skills are complementary. As you build your understanding of data, you'll be able to analyze it better and more effectively, which means you'll be able to relate it back to the real world and then able to communicate it better. Once you've done all those things, you can still go back and begin to learn more about how to understand the data, which will help you be a better analyst, which will help you interpret it and relate it back to the real world, which will then help you communicate it more effectively to different groups of folks. Let's dig into each area individually and talk about some of the critical skills that go into each level of data literacy. We'll start with understanding. The first level of understanding is simply knowing what's on the page in front of you. You should be able to identify what the numbers are, what the columns are, what the rows are, what everything means in a data table. You should be able to calculate and conceptualize percentages and ratios to understand what is it a percentage of? What does the percentage mean? What are the two things that we're comparing? The same with ratios, the same with proportions. You should understand what of what you're looking at. And then you should be able to interpret data visualizations, so line graphs, bar charts, things like that. Those things aren't difficult to interpret, but understanding what to look for in a bar chart or a line chart and what to understand about how it was put together will help deepen your understanding of what the information in that visualization is telling you. The second level that we get to is analysis. Analysis is another critical skill, and it means really being able to understand what's happening within the data. Which are the most important numbers on the report? What are those numbers doing? Are they going up or down? Are they what you would expect? What is the average? Is the data in line with the average? Is there a trend within a piece of time series data? 
You can begin to build all this out once you've built the understanding because you need to understand the data in order to be able to understand what you're looking at so you can begin to analyze that data, identify the most important parts, see trends, which leads us to the third level to be able to interpret those things. As you interpret those things, you're going to be relating those trends that you see, the averages that you see back to the real world. When we look at a time series piece of data for sales, for example, if we see a positive trend, what does that mean is happening on the ground? Does that mean that we have salespeople that are out selling more of our product? Does it mean we have more foot traffic through our stores? If our total revenue is up, does that mean that we're selling the same number of products, but that we're selling them at a higher price? All of those things involve relating the data that you see in a table or a visualization back to what's actually happening on the ground. Communication is the fourth skill, and this involves being able to create a compelling story or a compelling presentation from the data that you're given. You have to do a lot of analysis and a lot of interpretation to understand what's happening behind the scenes, what the drivers are, and then you have to look at who your audience is, decide which data points are the most important, and probably critically which data points are not important and you can leave out, and then understand how technical this audience is and how much detail you want to go into around the data. And then you want to be able to pull it together in a narrative format or beginning with the end in mind, so sharing the insights first, so that that audience understands and engages with your presentation. If you work through these four different levels of skills, you will improve your data literacy as well as your ability to interpret what you're told and to communicate those things out to other people. The more you understand about the data, the better you'll be able to analyze it, the more you'll be able to interpret things and relate them back to what's actually happening on the ground in the real world, and the more you'll be able to communicate that effectively to your leadership, to your peers, to your coworkers, to your friends, or to whoever else needs to understand it. If this content's helpful, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm from Penguin Analytics. We offer data literacy and data fluency training for both teams and for individuals. If you'd like to set up a consultation, please do reach out to us. We would love to hear from you.